Today, my Malibu Barbie gets a brand new outfit. Yo, dog, Kenny Boucher here, next level painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days, coming to you from the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California. We're doing it again. Today, we continue work on our Orc Warlord from 3D Art Digital, AKA Malibu Barbie for grown ass men. If you guys have been following along on Twitch, you may have noticed we've been taking this work to that next level. And today, here on Patreon and YouTube, we are going to be painting the armor. We're gonna be going through several steps, rapid fire, to paint the bone armor and the metal armor. Of course, we're gonna take this armor to that next level live on Twitch as usual. Guys, I'm gonna promote for one second here. Based on a recent poll on Patreon, we have unlocked a new reward. One-on-one -on -one coaching and private lessons. Supplies are limited to 10 per month. This reward has a lot going for it. In addition to being a one-on-one -on -one coaching session for at least an hour a month, you can cancel anytime. I make myself available to help you with your web-based streaming setup because this is a web-based class, of course. You also gain access to an exclusive Facebook chat. I make myself available as often as I can on that chat, along with all your fellow patrons who are supporting me at that level. Speaking of patrons, let me shout out a couple of clutch individuals who supported me this week. Wesley, Dave, Greg, AK47, Stuart, Theo, Gus, Bungol, MB, Chad, Jonathan, Diego, Chris, Felipe, Chains, and Chris. Thanks, guys. Can't do without you. Patreon is literally how I keep the lights on. Let's do this thing, guys. Orc Warlord, 3DR Digital. This is where we left off live on Twitch. Oh, there he is. Malibu Barbie for grown-ass men just got a fresh new outfit. Let me show you how we painted that set of armor. We're going to start with some bloodstone. This is a P3 color. We're going to just build up some solid base coats on all of our armor pieces that are made of bone that quick. We're going to slide back into P3 for some Bogren Brown 50-50 mix with the bloodstone build some clean transitions we want it to be soft at this stage before we make it abrupt make it transition to city now we're gonna go pure bogren brown it's gonna start taking shape now we're gonna be working toward that nice iconic off-white bone with some nice creamy yellows in it solid browns the whole spectrum here is a little mediocre we're gonna mix that in we're gonna start beginning to unveil our cream color that I love. It's gonna look dramatically different though here in one second. Weathered wood, secret weapon miniatures, 50-50. Let's get some nice little tight transitions. And then you can start sheeting white into it from here. If you wanna pop it to 11, because we are gonna be using a wash and the wash will dramatically change the effect here. All right, here it is. Pop a little white in there, take it to 11. Not bad. All right, switching gears. Now that we're gonna let all that dry, we're gonna work on the armor that is made of metal using a little decayed metal from scale 75. Bang it down, quick base coats and all of this other stuff here. This looks to be like metal with some, maybe some animal horns embedded in it. There it is. Laid it all down on all these pieces, these three, the chest pieces and the two arm pieces. Now we're gonna go black gold create an interesting highlight just going raw dog right here a little flow improver in the mix boom make it look its best we're not really focusing too much on the light source here we're just trying to create a nice antique finish this large model this is of this is like a figurine eight inches nine inches tall so the details are all there you just have to nurture them out so we're going to go with the next level painting system we're going to apply a little bit of a gloss varnish here run it straight through our airbrush this is Vallejo we use a little airbrush thinner and we're just gonna gloss everything. And that's the trick here. With this big model, has a lot of nice subtle details, you're gonna wanna maximize it with a good wash. So we're gonna go flesh wash, quick shade mixing medium, both army painter specials. We're gonna mix it up, give ourselves a healthy amount and we're gonna create some nice solid antiquing here over these big broad surfaces. You wanna be subtle. So we're gonna sort of dab it on we're not going to really aggressively brush it in. We're just going to dab it on, manipulate the wash, 
pull it out of any crevice that it's pulling up in too much and just stay in motion. Let the gloss varnish be like glass. Let it disperse the wash into all directions. This will minimize the staining on our beautiful large figurine sized model. It does have miniature style details though. That's what I love about it. So we are gonna be popping these out to that next level. But if you didn't want to, you could just let them ride after this. So make sure to get it all inside those crevices, get that nice staining effect. It creates contrast, instant skill in a bottle. All right, dark tone, this is essentially black. We're gonna pour a little bit of this out, raw dog. We're gonna just have our brown mix that we just had. We're gonna keep it standing by and we're just gonna blast it onto all these huge metallic armor pieces. And we're gonna be going heavy with the black here. But the same deal, we're going to stay in motion, push it around, make sure it doesn't build up in any one section too much so we can minimize that stain. And the gloss varnish is going to be key here. Okay, now let's let it all dry. It's all super wet. It's going to dry out, stay muted. And then we're going to go back to basics for at least a few more minutes, guys. And of course, that means dry brushing. Let's pull out our weathered wood. Good, solid utility dry brush. This is a bomb wick. This is slowfusegaming.com solid chisel edge brush real quick always go against the grain if you can keep it light light brush pressure just keep moving and this is a basic technique that is perfect for these bone pieces it's gonna really dry the bone out gonna make it look like it's been sitting in the sun for a long time it's totally picked over not like a fresh piece at all but more sun bleached and just aged right there's some staining in it still it's gonna look amazing. It's gonna find all the peaks, all the raised ridges, give them a nice clean highlight while leaving all that wash in the crevices, giving us a very natural look. Now, of course, we gotta do the same thing to the metal. So we're gonna pull out a basic gold, a Victorian gold, and we're just going to do the same thing here, just aggressive dry brushing, try to bring all the edges of all those big slashes out, all the trim. It's gonna start creating a beautiful antique finish while it leaves all that dark tone in the recesses. He's got more pieces, let me show you again. Check it out, rapid fire. Just pick it out, make sure you have the right angle, dry it off a little bit, boom, there it is. Clean, no staining, no brush strokes, it looks fabulous. That's a basic technique you need to keep in your arsenal. This is the next level painting system right here. We do this on almost every model. You can call it quits after this. You can say that's done, easily done, beautiful. And it would work beautifully on this huge figurine that's eight inches tall. But of course, live on Twitch, we will take it to that next level. Same thing with this chest piece. This is why we left all these sections off the orc so we can do a beautiful skin tone underneath the armor and then paint the armor glued on. You could never achieve this effect if you had to paint it all yourself. Crazy. Real quick, rapid fire. Same recipe that we did on the bone armor on these big animal teeth or bear claws. I don't know what the fuck these are. Real quick, bloodstone, get it locked in. And then we're going to pull the airbrush back out at the late stage. Real easy, guys. Just using a bomb wick right here. Thin coats, get it all locked in. And this is another reason why we leave all this off the model. Boom. Same exact workup from the previous steps. Do a little bit of subtle airbrushing on the tips. Give ourselves a nice transition, a good placeholder for any more details that we want to do. Something that you would never be able to do with a paintbrush or if you glued it all on. The sub-assembly was key on this project. And now that we're basically done with all this, we can glue it all on Malibu work or just snap it in because you don't actually have to glue any of these pieces in. It comes with magnet sets. But now we can put them together so we can get an idea of the composition that we envision. Because a lot of times with the airbrush, it's hard to see it come together when you do sub assembly. So I'm gonna put it all together. I'm looking at some of these details that I still need to wash, need to pull some extra ridges out. But anyway, guys, play on players. Catch me on Twitch.